Hello, Keller Williams leaders, Scott Tolar, team leader and MAPS leadership coach here for day number two of our command 66 day challenge. And today you should by now have access to Cloudmore. If you don't, once again, you can hit that button right there and talk to somebody about that and they'll get you connected. So we're going to go ahead and go into Cloudmore. And you know that wonderful pipeline report we've been doing for so many years on a spreadsheet? Well, guess what? you no longer have to do it that way. You can click the recruits button right here on the left side of the screen or over here on the right side of the screen, either one will take you to the exact same place. And you can start putting your recruits directly in here. Now there's two great ways to do this. You can click add recruit. We're gonna put Brian Tolar and in uh, personal information, his email, we can put Brian tolar98 at gmail.com. And then under phone number, you're gonna put the phone number 512-521-9214. And by the way, my little brother just got his real estate license. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and click confirm there. That's one way to do it. And we can go ahead and see that he has now been added to our pipeline report. And over here on the right side of the screen, you can click that button and it's gonna say the different options that you have there. Haven't reviewed, reviewed, contacted, scheduled appointment, completed appointment, nurtured and committed. So you just think about it the exact same way. Now we're still working on exactly what nines, tens and all the, all the fun stuff that we were used to is going to look like in here. And we at Maps Coaching will be working on creating language to coach you to through these different steps right here. So for right now, we're gonna go ahead and say that we've scheduled an appointment with Brian we're going to click change. So now it'll show on here that the appointment has been scheduled and up here at the top of the screen, it's going to show all of those wonderful different steps, just like it does in the uh, sales pipeline for our agents. The other way that we can add a recruit is by clicking find recruits up here at the top. So now once it finishes loading, we can hit the button right here. And let's say that we wanted to find somebody in zip code seven, seven, eight, six, two, six. There we go, Georgetown, Texas. Now it's going to show us, if we don't click any of these, it's gonna show us all the different results on this side of the screen for all of the people who have closed transactions in 78626. Now, if we wanna get a little bit more specific, we can click on one of these neighborhoods. So we'll go ahead and click on Sun City. And now over here on the right side of the screen, it's going to load and show us that there's 164 results found and we can click on each one of these people and it'll show us what their market share in Sun City is. Now let's say that we wanna go ahead and add Aaron Lancaster to our sales pipeline because that's somebody who we want to start following up with and we wanna build and nurture a relationship with. We can hit that plus button right there, click add Aaron Lancaster, click add agent, let it do its thing. And now we can go back over to the sales pipeline, or not the sales pipeline, the recruiting pipeline, and we can see that Aaron Lancaster has now been added to our pipeline. And we can shuffle through here and assign him as appropriately. Anyways, that's how we work with the sales pipeline. We'll get more in depth on this in the future, uh, in the future steps, but you can look at that right there and see that we now have people in our sales pipeline. Y'all have a wonderful day, and I look forward to continuing on this challenge with you in the coming weeks. Have a great day, everyone. Bye-bye.